What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy, B. Neil and Mackenzie. Back with another reaction video. Here we are with Trevor Noah's first visit to Australia at a Melbourne comedy festival. Before we dive in, you got to dive into the subscribe. You got to dive into the notification bell. You got to dive into that thumbs up button like right now. Uh, and let's go ahead and see what Trevor Noah got on his first visit to Australia. Good evening. Or not. <laughs> Sorry, I, I get nervous when I start a comedy set. I, uh, ah, I find I find comedy is very similar to sex for me. Um, well, it's exactly like sex when you think about it. You know, just me, the comedian, playing the role of the man, and you, the audience, the role of the woman. Because it's it's my job to satisfy you. I can understand that. I just that. have to sit there. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like sex, my success or failure is somehow determined by how much noise you make <laughs> during my performance. Oh, you're just Good faking point. it now. Thank you. <laughs> it's a one-sided affair. Yeah. So I hope you aren't the quiet types. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody Bro, laughing that too hard. That's that laugh where you can where you can relate with exactly what he said. You know what he talked about. That's that laugh. That's right your there. laugh. That you'd be the one person out of the crowd to stand out. I would not over him, dog. Yes, you would. I would stand out over him. He would, did you, you need to hear that laugh I again. did hear it. You need to hear it again, because I'm not standing out over here. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, you would. Mm -mm. <laughs> Makes it worse when a guy laughs in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not meant to be funny. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is my first time in Australia, and I must say I'm enjoying it after... Two days of traveling to get here. I, I finally arrived, and it's it's a, quite a quaint place. Um, it wasn't supposed to take me that long. We were delayed. Um, first delay was was uh, I got to the airport in Johannesburg. I was on a Qantas flight, and they said, oh, "Sorry, sir, there's a bit of a delay." I said, "How long?" They said, "24 hours." So mm. that's not a delay. That's cancellation. <laughs> so, that's day. so they said, "Come back tomorrow." I came back the next day, and then we tried it again. And this time we were on the plane, and there was another delay of about four to five hours where Ooh. we were stuck on the tarmac, and the plane couldn't take off because the airplane wasn't balanced. I've never heard of that in my life. Mm -mm. That's what the pilot said, and like because he's a pilot, we believe him. He just <laughs> he just Blacks. said it because the pilot sounds serious when they're saying it. He came on. He said, "Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a bit of a problem on the plane." Uh, don't know what's going on. Seems like uh, it's not uh, balanced, but we'll uh, we'll have to check on what's going on, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we know. Yeah, you ain't finna have me sitting on this plane for four or five hours, uh -uh. and we ain't even moved, dog. Like, let me back off. Like, hey, y'all gonna feed me? Y'all gonna? I need to stretch my legs. Yeah. <laughs> and I won't lie. As soon as he said that. I looked at the fat people, but not, not in a bad way, not in a bad way, just in an objective manner, like, hey, you guys, you can't sit together. You need to sit on, on yeah, the plane. Probably you, it's probably you. <laughs> Speaking of fat people, oh it's my Biggest God. Loser, the biggest show in, say, in Australia. That's all I see on TV, is just the Biggest Loser. You ever seen that? The Biggest Loser. I have not watched The Biggest Loser. Oh my god, you would like that show. I probably would. You really would. I used to love it. I used to watch it with my nana. Yeah. I loved it, bro. To like see people come in like so big and then to watch them like go through and at the end of it be skinny. That's crazy. Like it's so fun. We gotta get you into that. Let me on the show. But you're not big. I'm overweight. So... Maybe that would count. No. Well, you gotta, they gotta be big, big to get on here. I don't know if you gotta be big, big, but most of them are pretty big. So I just need to eat more. 
to get on the show. Why would you do that? TV. Bro. <laughs> but you really wouldn't like that. Maybe that's uh, the little reality show we can get into. Too. We already started Love Island. We can get into that, too. <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> So, I love that show. It's fantastic. It's always on TV. What a fantastic show. For those who don't know, The Biggest Loser is a show where they, they try and help fat people lose weight uh, through torture, basically. <laughs> yes, both emotional and physical. Yeah. <coughs> they do horrible things like leaving food in the house that they're living in, then ask them why they're eating it. Why did you eat the food, Kevin? Why did you eat the food? Because it was there and he's fat. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> said because it was there, he's fat. That's what he does. <laughs> Duh. You knew this before he came. Why are you not acting shocked? <laughs> they should do a show about the people that make the show and call them the biggest assholes. That's what they should do. <laughs> the show's not helping anybody. <laughs> I love it. What an amazing show. But yeah, so we were flying, so we flew, uh, so flew from Johannesburg to, to Sydney, Sydney you come in, um, and then you have to leave the airport and then go back into the airport to fly, uh, you go through border control, very friendly, I must say Australia, I'm very impressed, very friendly border control, you guys are very chilled out, very cool, like visas, not, not really like needed sort of, it is, but not like the, do you have your visa? No, well, all right, well, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> Look, the secret to getting through uh, from a few Chinese men that were ahead of me is that you just have to irritate the border police and then they just let you in. There's a guy ahead of me, and the woman was asking him, excuse me, sir, where are you going to be staying in Australia? No, where are you staying? You're like, Kang kangaroo, kangaroo. <laughs> no, sir, where are you staying? Kangaroo, kangaroo. <laughs> no, no, sir, you can't, no, it's not like, where are you going to be staying? Kangaroo, kangaroo. Uh, all right, just go in, just go in. Just go in. <laughs> just in. He was just like, it was fantastic, it was fantastic. Yes, and he had this look when he got to the other side, like, it works every time. Just, you know? <laughs> There's no way to look about him. And so we, you come in, and, and, and it seems too easy, because it is, because the border control is very chilled, but then you get like, to the customs, which is the most hardcore place in the world. I don't know what the hell happened in Australia, but you guys need to chill out when it comes to fruit. <laughs> People are standing there being strip shirts. Where did you get the apple? I don't care if you can't speak English. You're gonna spend a week in quarantine, mate. Where did you get the apple? I don't care. I don't care. Where's the apple from? <laughs> you see people. There's like there was a guy that was stopped for weed. Is that marijuana? Well, don't do it again. But you with the apple? <laughs> That's where you came from? <laughs> what? Uh, Australia, is this true about fruit, y'all? And if it is, talk to me in the comment section about why. This is true about fruit. I guess you could be bringing some kind of disease or something down soon. I don't know. Me neither. What did fruit do to your country? <laughs> it's such a weird place getting used to Australia because you finally come in and then you can't understand anybody. You really, really can't because because like you guys say you speak English, but it's not. It's like you, <laughs> like, like you try, Facts. but then I couldn't tell. Like sometimes it actually sounds like it's Chinese. I used to hear people making jokes about, oh, there's all these Chinese, but, but then when you come, you don't know if the Australians are Chinese or not Chinese. Because <laughs> it sounds the same to me, especially like a very deep Australian accent. It's very like, like people say things, oh yeah, how you go, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that's a good de that's a good little Australian accent, dog. That was good. Yeah. Shishini. Shishini. Nah, nah. I don't know what's going on here, man. This is it's very and then the phrases I do understand don't make sense. Like uh, like positive phrases, like apparently apparently she'll be right. I don't know who she is and how she applies to me, but this is very important to say in Australia. Uh, you also feel it's very important to tell everybody that you have no worries. Yeah. This is I didn't ask you about your life's philosophy. I just asked you how you were on the day. And you oh no worries, no worries. Really? Not even one? Not even one worry? Really? Australia things that good here? No, not not even one. Not even prostate cancer, not even one. Not even North Korea. Those guys are close, I'm just saying. Not even, not even one worry. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, the strangest one, and this is something I've learned, which I wish you'd teach people before they come, is uh, the correct answer yeah. to the phrase, how you going, is not by aeroplane. I, uh, <laughs> I used to ask people this when they were traveling. I was, I was flying with Sydney, and then we were going from to Melbourne, and I got to the counter, and I said to the woman, hi, I'm going to Melbourne, please. And she said, oh, yeah, how you going? I said, by aeroplane. <laughs> I've chosen this building over here to be traveling in. And she said, no, no, I was greeting you. And I said, oh, no worries. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> that was good, dog. How you got? How you got? I like Trevor Noah. Yeah. Uh, dang. Uh, once again, we will have our first visit to Australia at some point. Uh, but that's all we got. Make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video, a thumbs up, and we out.